you're waking up with six on your side news. Good morning, Idaho. Welcome back. A massive musical tribute is planned for area veterans. The Boise Philharmonic, the Treasure Valley Concert Band, and the Opera Idaho Children's Chorus will join forces for a free concert Monday night at BSU. Six on your side, Steve Dent takes us to a rehearsal. A team effort to honor America's veterans. I think it's really incredible. We're just trying to kind of give them back a gift for the service that they provided for us for helping defend this country. The Boise Philharmonic. The Treasure Valley Concert Band and the Opera Idaho Children's Chorus combine to show off musicians of all ages. Oh, I think it really makes it special because you've got different uh, elements of the uh, musical community coming together to show their appreciation, sort of a unity. But it takes a lot of work. Oh, countless hours. Even Molly O'Sullivan has been working on her craft a while. She joined the opera eight years ago. It's been absolutely fantastic. And on Monday, this entire team will put it all together in a free concert at the Morrison Center. And to be able to put that talent to work, you know, that gift to work for the, for the benefit of uh, those who have served the country is, is what an honor. Steve Dent, six on your side. Should be a good show. The concert is presented by Boise State University. And the event will happen next Monday at 730 in the Morrison Center with parking available nearby. Right now the time is 647. We have more entertainment news coming up next. We're talking about a big honor for Ariana Grande and the premiere of Wreck-It Ralph 2. That's next. Plus, all is quiet across southwest Idaho this morning but all is also very cold. I'll break down my frosty on your side forecast coming up next. Now, Rachel Garceau with the on your side forecast. Welcome back at 649 on your Wednesday. All right, I'm going to leap ahead to Friday. I know Bronco Nation, big game coming up against Fresno State on the blue on Friday night. It is a blue out. You're going to want to unearth every warm blue thing that you own. Blankets, coats, gloves, hats, maybe even take the hand warmers with you. We have a cold time of it ahead on Friday. For you tailgaters, it'll be dark by 6 o'clock, 43 degrees with mostly clear skies. At kickoff time, 8.15 on Friday, chilly already dipping down into the upper 30s for the first quarter. By the time it's all wrapping up, hopefully with a big W for Boise State, right? Down to 35 degrees at about 11 o'clock on Friday night. So it is going to be cold and that will lead to a Saturday morning temperature in the 20s. And that's about where we'll be every single morning starting tomorrow through the middle of next week. We have a hard freeze expected each and every morning. So you'll be scraping that windshield or possibly just letting your car warm up for a little bit longer if you park outside. We do have an area of low pressure, one little disturbance that is continuing to kind of sweep by to our north. That could send some more very light snow across portions of our central mountains today. Nothing real big as far as accumulation goes necessarily. We will stay nice and clear and dry here in southwest Idaho, but we do have cool air that's in place. So that will keep us cold for this afternoon. In the next couple of days, a very weak little ridge will build in as we have high pressure kind of anchored off the coast, and that will allow things to stay clear and relatively calm and dry. But as this disturbance moves by, it could boost our.